Thank you, Tom. Uh, our next speaker is Colonel Emma Setting. He's the Chief of Police for the Newcastle County. Uh, we got to interact with the Colonel very often in the last few months, especially after the tragedy that, that took place in our community in August after the homicide of a young Muslim. Uh, and and it, it, was, it was very, shall we say, for the community, it was very reassuring. Uh, the frankness, the candidness with which the law enforcement interacted with us. There was clearly no attempt to use that as a leverage to do other things in the community. There was, uh, that's usually one of the fears, you know, that uh, if you get, if, if, if a Muslim is arrested and they find out that you haven't paid a ticket or something, then, then that becomes a leverage for law enforcement agencies in other parts of the country to to get Muslims to spy on other Muslims and so on and so forth. But there was no such attempt. In fact, uh, that both uh, Tom Gordon and Colonel uh, Setting worked with us to reassure the community as to how the police was focusing on the criminality of the situation and just focusing on that particular case, was not using that as an excuse uh, to open other uh, fishing expeditions into the community. So uh, our experience has been very positive and it has led to building of very strong relations with the law enforcement agency in the Newcastle County. So without much ado, Colonel Sitting. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I am Elmer Setting, the Chief of Police from Newcastle County, and I just wanted to take a minute to briefly explain my responsibility and, and what I do. I have about 380 sworn police officers. We give police service to 550,000 people over 427 square miles. Last year, we answered 400,000 911 calls. Uh, this is a very small department for this, uh, the size of the county that we police, but Dr. Khan said something that's very important to me and very near and dear to my heart. The fact is, if you are truly a police officer, and a peace officer, you must understand that the constitutional rights are everyone's rights for every American. It doesn't matter your religion, it doesn't matter your culture, it doesn't matter your background, none of that matters. I have a greater responsibility and a greater obligation and that's to protect everyone that lives in my county. And the only way you can do that effectively is to understand who lives in your county. I was telling some folks earlier that when I was first on the police department, there was a very, very large amount of people with Hispanic descent moving into Newcastle County. And we were clashing with this group because we didn't know their culture. So we did exactly back then, when the, when the chief was Tom Gordon, uh, what we're doing now. We didn't understand the Hispanic culture, and they didn't trust law enforcement. It was just a, a very basic model. And, we met with them, we found out who the core leaders were, we invited them into our academy, we spoke to them as our peers, and we explained what we're up against as law enforcement as we are responsible, again, for your ultimate protection. Well, they explained to us just a little bit about how their culture worked and how that a, a Hispanic male does not want to be put into handcuffs in front of his children. It's not that he wouldn't wouldn't be arrested, but they, they don't want to be, uh, you know, put down in front of their own children. So we learned this thing where you simply say, will you step outside? And not only will they step outside, they'll gladly go away in the handcuffs. The laws are the laws. We all must abide. And when someone is a, runs afoul of the law, we do have a responsibility. That's how we keep organization and people safe in our communities. But when you understood the culture, there was less clash. There was more trust. Now, what you're seeing in the Newcastle County Police Department is we're the most diverse police department in Delaware. So there are many Hispanics now on the agency itself. So you see how things can change when you break down barriers and you step away from not understanding something, such as a religion. Uh, we, had a, we had a man uh, go to a, a, a center and kill some people in Colorado. Very tragic, very tragic. Yet, no one turns around and says he's a radical Christian and throws the entire uh, Christian religion in, into the ring. Yet, someone runs around with a Kalishnikov rifle and says, I I'm a Muslim. We're going, to, we're going to look at an entire religion, an entire group of people and culture. We can't do that. You have to be informed. You have to educate. You have to communicate. 
That's the key to a better relationship between the community and the police department. We are here to serve. Thank you.